<laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. You, the show on you know what, dude? You don't know anything, dude. God. Bro, have you ever thought about something? Probably not. Dude, you know what you should do is put nacho cheese on your God. fucking face. <laughs> Bro, Brenda thinks he's getting headaches. It's an, those are ideas, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Bro. somebody asks him a question that wants an answer from him, he takes ibuprofen. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't on. know what's oh happening here. Yeah, I'm just joking, man. I love you, man. Sunscreen, huh? Huh? Yeah. You, you look like Kimmy Gibbler getting ready for a vacation <laughs> <Well>, right now. <laughs> maybe now if she's a lesbian. You know, I do look like that lady from uh, Mary with Children. Remember her? Mary or whatever her name was, the the neighbor, the oh, lesbian neighbor. Oh, the neighbor. You kind of do. She was real hot like the first couple years, and she was still hot as she got later, but she turned a lot more into like kind of like- A little more butch. Exotic bird kind of look, you know? Exotic butch look. Yeah, exotic butch. Like um, like she's from Butcharagua, you know? Dude, I feel bad. Where we- if, A, I want to start this off. A, your skin, you're looking- Good today, dude. You're looking crispy. What? Yeah, you're looking crispy, dude. What are you I don't know. If, about? Did you go on vacation? What have you been doing, dude? Huh? Where, where, where were you this weekend? <sighs> wow, definitely. Thought you were gonna need help to get out of that sentence. I'll say this, dude. I was with the impractical joker. God, okay. please spit it out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, it's hey, funny. Wait, are you murdering people? <laughs> Why is it? You ask me what I do. I know right away. Super bro, suspect, bro. We are both uniquely ignorant, bro. It's yeah, pretty are, awesome, dude. dude. How about when we're getting our... I feel bad because we're getting our coffee, and it's a young transgender woman who get, makes our coffee, mm -hmm. and I... Not, hold on. who Not who makes our coffee. This work, person works nearby at an establishment. Makes our coffee. <laughs> She makes coffee, and we happened upon the environment. Yeah, correct. I mean, yeah. it's not like our personal coffee maker. Yeah, we don't have Either her like Either way, a... it's a transgender okay. female, you know? They got and that TJ. She walks <laughs> up, and I go, what's up, bro? Did you? I did. I felt so bad. I went, what's up, bro? And I went, I pretend I didn't say it and stared off at this guy. I went, what's up, bro? Oh. Or Brozilla. That's what you can turn that into. Oh. Man, it's tough to come back from. It's not the way you want to kick off the day. But I think a transgender person would like, if I say, if I, you know, if I'm f like, if I am feeling like 50% man, 50% woman, you know, or kind of, you know, you know, in that, in that space, you know, like that Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, sure. I think if someone calls you bro, that's kind of okay. I don't think so. You, I could tell it hurt her feelings. Oh, you, oh, you could tell. Okay. Then that's different. It's ma'am. Did they really? It's ma'am. And <laughs> threw the coffee at me. <laughs> What? All right. Really? No. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Dang, dude, you're dressed insanely, very uniquely today. Nicely, that's what I meant. Thanks, dude. Someone said I've been too mean to you, so. Yeah, that's the word on the street. I I'm just sorry. Said, I just said, you know, when he doesn't have a cigarette, he, he gets mean. Oh, definitely. He wants to suck dick and he gets mean. Wow. Already talking about wieners and stuff. Nope. That, no, this episode, well, we're going to try not to. Yeah. Oh, really? We're, we're going to try, try not, not to, to after you do, not, right? We're going to try not to. Dude, you look like a pastor at a banana republic, dude. You look like yeah. a horrible, That's man. A, I look horrible? Yeah, dude. You look like the worst Wahlberg brother. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> You look like you look one like of, the shittiest Wahlberg brother that made all the wrong decisions that they all have to financially support now out in LA. Yeah, dude, I look like Trout Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you though, if you have yeah. any, if you have any glass or reflect or mirrors or anything or reflective glass, you should go buy them because, you, dude, you. <laughs> yeah, spit it out, dude. Bro, you look like one of the Beagle Boys that fucking came out of the closet and moved to New York, bro. <laughs> moved to New York while the rest of your family was doing crime like they're supposed to dude <laughs> you're like fuck robbing this duck i'm out of here I'm bro. Out there, man. yeah dude oh. you look like spiffy beagle oh. <laughs> spiffy beagle's dope yeah dude he <laughs> sure <laughs> he is man oh my god powerful col culture corner over here today yeah we got some heaters in here today Yo, what up boys what up What's up, Derek? How are you? I'm good, man. How are you, Theo? I'm doing pretty good. What's going on over there in the uh, black community? Uh, was... <laughs> That's I mean, a fair question. It was a fair question. It was a fair question. I have no problem with it. Well, yep. you have a better chance of knowing than he and I do. He lives yeah. in a gated, way gated community. Correct, Rich. <laughs> yeah, and I'm over here in middle in the little Middle East over here in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. I mean, I live in basically 
like a little bit of an extension of the Gaza Strip where I'm at. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, I mean, people are waving flags in the park. I have no idea what no they idea. are. Right? People are throwing rocks. I don't even know. Why yeah. are people throwing rocks at Theo? Yeah, I, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. How do you feel about, uh, and I, this might be, Oh, this is Not already going to be bad. Towards you, but <laughs> <already> <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> <be> <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your eyes, your eyes looked racist when the question. No, I, I can feel it. What do you think of Little Nas X going gay? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I thought it was pretty cool, man. And also just right on time. You know what I'm saying? He's just perfect timing in there. Even if you're timing. not gay, I thought about coming out. Yeah, just to boost tickets though. Really? Maybe to boost him to who, dude? People who what? To gay? You oh, you want more of a gay fan base? I don't know, dude. Yeah. You think? Uh, but you think Little Nas? You thought it was a good move. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm sure it's a good move. I haven't talked to any black people about this. I'm very making curious. love to men as well, but it's also a good move for his career. You know what I mean? I think it's both are good moves. Yeah. You know? I think he's having a good time the whole way around. Good move for his personal life too, you know? Yeah. I mean, if he, yes. Yeah, also, I think also most people probably knew that he was gay or preferred men. He, you know, he the had outfits that. gave off that. I wouldn't the outfit. He has that kind of like, sometimes to me, like a gay, uh, some gay men, mm -hmm. they have that, like they've been kind of just. Looking for sugar a little or something. You know what I'm saying? Like their mouth kind of has like that little the bit sweetness. of sweetness. Yeah, it's got, got that little sugar, sugar in their tank. Yeah. That's sweet and low. Yeah, like they just fucking just polished off a lemon about eight minutes ago, you know? Or just or or a lime or, or something. Or ate the last rib and just, you know, yeah. suck that bad boy dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And kept it in their pockets, maybe hit it later a yeah. little, you know? Yeah. But yeah, he always, I, but uh. Proud of him, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. But some of it is, it's like, when is it, is it like an opportune time to do it? Is it PR stuff? But I think at this point in, in those guys' careers at that level, everything probably has a PR spin behind it or whatever. For you know? sure. You could just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Name the most successful gay rapper. I feel like it's frowned upon in your community, D. <laughs> in some neighborhoods it is. Yeah, in some neighborhoods it is. Uh, but I don't know. Like some, you mean all neighborhoods? Rappers. Actually, I think in poor neighborhoods, if it's black or white, like yeah. Because if I think about it, yeah, we had this this fella named Roy Boy. Oh, and he, uh, yeah, and they called him that when he was nine, dude. And he was about six and a half feet tall, and four feet of it was hair. You know, yeah, Roy, Roy Boy. Was he down. Brought, he put his hair straight up as high as it could go, and it was a lot of hair, dude. It looked like a little hay bale, you yeah. know, on his head. And he would invite us over to do play Battleship and stuff, and play like water games in the tub and all Naked. kind of stuff. Yeah. Not naked, but bathing suits, but it was a small tub, dude, so. And he had a little sugar in his You couldn't thing. help but really get to know each other, you know. <laughs> Maybe he sounds like a nice guy. He, but also, he wasn't nice. He was very, he, he ended up, uh, he was rude and aggressive, and he would beat us if we didn't behave on the ship. You know, that was his big thing. Ooh. He was pretty dominatrix aggressive. Dominatrix vibe. Yeah, he had more of a dominatrix yeah. type of vibe, you know. But, yeah, I think if he would have said he was gay in, like, a poor neighborhood, then people would have been... Not cool about it. Whereas, like in poor black neighborhoods, growing up, I always heard like that. It was like kind of like a taboo. So I think it might just be like in a poor environment. Yeah, it might just be yeah. a low income. Yeah, sure. People don't. Is that fair, D, to say? Yeah, or? poor people don't like gay stuff yet. I, don't know I why. wonder why. I don't know. You think they'd I think be they down like for whatever? It. It's just it's already hard enough without you know maybe somebody you know doing like you you know trying to teach the guys on the basketball team like you know I don't know I don't know. Yeah, I'm hard enough without without. But I thought I had an idea. Stuff. Yeah, let's get started though. You want to just start, boys? Yeah, let's but go. Little Nas got them hits, dude, and his the new song is good too. I like. The I haven't new heard song, what's the dude? new one with Cardi B. I haven't heard hard. it. I, love oh, I haven't heard that. Cardi B. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard that one, dude. Which one were you talking about? It's some one he whenever he came out of the closet, he put this thing on Twitter. It was a video with the a cartoon? song. Where, yeah, the cartoon where he's like oh, just keeps blasting song. off into the air. I didn't see that. And he was I like, I tried to song. tell y'all, and it's like a skitty, city skyline, and one's just a big dick. Is it a wiener? <laughs> yeah, man, Jesus. rainbow wiener. Well, that's Tower 7, dude. Look into it. That's all I'm saying. Bro. <laughs> dude, I got deep last night watching uh, Alex Jones and Eddie Bravo talking about Tower 7, dude. You went too deep? Well, it's you crazy. That shit? Bro, look into it, man. It's crazy, bro. Your house could fall down, dude. And who did it? You. No, I would never do that, dude. I'm not driving all the way out there. <laughs> <laughs> you went deep into it, though, huh? You I buy that stuff? I in there, huh? You, you believe in all that? 
Look, man, I think there's definitely, at this point, if this many people are starting to think about it, then I think there's there's something going on. When you say this many people, you mean the people that follow Alex Jones? That's not, the majority would disagree. Well, people call him AJ, okay, first of all. And, oh, you're uh, a follower. No, no, you're no, a no, follower. no, no. I like more Eddie Bravo style, man, you know? Because Eddie kind of gets high and, like, just has his eyes closed and just keeps talking and just about goes, it. Yeah. And, and no one's around. <laughs> Dude. The other night at the comedy store was Eddie and Sam cornered me because I said something about fucking aliens and they went yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. It, it kind of messed me up for the night. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I was stuck for an hour. Oh, Just yeah, like, it's great. They'll make you reconsider everything you've ever believed yeah, it's in. great bro it's, it's great stuff yeah it's better than drugs kind of it really is it's I got like high from it yeah yeah you're like damn let's we're going deep and cats here too we're multicultural uh here yeah what's up guys what's up girl what's up cat what's going on are you celebrating fourth of july this year i celebrate fourth of july but it's more so my birthday than fourth of july when's I your b-day to... it's tomorrow oh wow it's the day right uh, before. Did, did you get anything huh? did you get Cupcakes, cake, anything? Yeah. Uh, I got her something. Uh, she doesn't like sweets that much, so I got her something she would like. She loves sweets. I know. I was just trying to take a shot in the dark and see if like I, <laughs> seem like I knew nice her better cut. than you did. Yeah. Um, I haven't gotten her something, but now I'm going to. I'll probably get her a new King of the Sting shirt. We have shirts for girls now. We do. Well, they're coming. But Kat will get the first one. Yep. There you go, Kat. <laughs> you got there something. You go. What are you doing? Are you celebrating? Yeah, I am going to head back to San Jose this weekend to see my parents. Oh, nice. Yeah, hang out with them. My dad's birthday's also on Saturday. Damn, so. you guys like those M80s or what? Hmm? Them M80s. What? Yeah, the, yeah y'all the do fire fireworks. Uh, you get them black cats, the oh, snakes, the, the twizzlers, the poppers. The Vietnamese love fireworks. That's what I'm saying. Man. Your dad make? What? what? I'm saying. You... D- does he what? What? Huh? Your dad what? Nothing. What? What? Wow. Wow. This is when I check out of Brennan is out. most racist. <laughs> no, I'm not. You are. Not today. It's a new record. Not today, man. Either way, Kat, have fun out there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Happy early birthday, Kat, from someone who uh, yes. to you and cares Thank about you. you. I appreciate it, guys. Are yeah. you doing anything for the 4th? When you were growing up, was there fireworks in New Orleans? Oh, yeah. There was fireworks year-round, yeah. dude. Sunday... It was a big firework night. Bottle rockets? Twizzlers? Oh, yeah. oh, dude. A lot of times, yeah, people, yeah, bottle rockets were big. If you had a freaking pack of bottle a rockets. black cat and... Yeah. <laughs> Some, yeah, just scare somebody. Yeah. Kill a cat, scare a senior citizen. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. Well. Turn it up, dude. Or we'd, fill, we'd drink wine and throw the bottles off the interstate over a bridge on the interstate. Same thing as firecrackers? Yeah. Keep people on their toes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's more about keeping people activated in the area. Yeah, it really is. You can't get fireworks anymore, though. Although someone DM me and yes, said you, you can. can get them in San Bernito. Okay. San Bernito <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> A new place that Brendan made up. Is that what's it um, called? Uh, I don't know. Or have you been in, playing Fortnite or something? Dude, I've never heard of San Bernito. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, San dude. Bernardino? Yeah. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's a You can buy fireworks out there. In San Bernardino? Oh, dude, I was in Texas, uh, and you can buy tons of fireworks there. Yeah, everywhere. but you can't bring them here. The cops will shut you down. Will they really? Yeah, they seize like $4 million in uh, fireworks. Are you serious? In Long Beach. Bunch of wimps around know, here, dude. A bunch of bitches. Bunch of straight bitches, dude. Let me pop my rockets, bro. Oh, bro, these people around here can't even handle an egg, like a regular egg, you know, that's on from a chicken that's on fucking drugs or whatever. You'll, you'll do three to five years for lighting a snake in my neighborhood. Really? You know? Yeah, that bullshit snake. Dude, that little thing? Thing. Remember goes, that thing? Yeah. And it would just keep climbing yeah. out of itself. It was sick. That thing was awesome, man. Support the podcast. Here's an ad. Yo, Theo. What up, boy? You need some wine at 4 p.m., maybe some sushi, maybe that breakfast burrito hitter in the morning. Ooh, I want that burrito. Oh, I got you, papa. Talking about Postmates. Not me. I'm not going to bring over but Postmates. Well, Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever kind of delivery system you want, bro. Respect, man. I love the fact that you eat food that uh, somebody brings you. It's cool. It's cool. It's like you have your own little assistant, and they just, whenever you want it, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, Postmates will bring it to you within an hour. And now what kind of stuff can you get? Creme brulees? Can you get yogurt? Ice cream, burritos, pizza, sushi, Mm. steak. Pastrami? Why not? And for a limited time, Postmates has given the King of the Sting listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries. That's a deal. Great deal. Download the app and use the code CATS. 
2019. That's K A T S 2019. That's code CATS 2019 for $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates Snack app. Snack up. You can just get fully snacked up. So if you want this, you want that, you want a steak, you want a um, thing of lifesavers, you can do it all. Anything you need, anytime you need it, Postmate it. Download Postmates and save with the code K-A-T-S-2019. Snack up. Time to buy Theo more pants. All right, let's kick this off. Shout out to 4th of July. Yeah. Awesome, boys. Well, let's start with some debate club. Uh, up first, we got Grace. This is Grace. Oh, yeah. Got them bangs. Hey, my name's Grace, and I'm just wondering, would you rather live in Mexico or Canada? Gang, gang, Ooh. buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, girl. Wow. I mean, this one's so easy to me. Is it really? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is easier than crunchy or smooth peanut butter for me, baby. <laughs> well, we also only make really easy questions coming here uh, <laughs> because one of us prefers the easier one. I, would, well, I don't pick these. I would say uh, Canada all goddamn day. The neighbors to the north, there's no cartel up there. That's They're not point. trying to get into here. There's a reason. So they got it's nice there, dude. Yeah. They got them little Eskimo hoes everywhere. Yeah. Good food. Nice people. What else? Name a couple more things. This is gonna get good. About Canada? Yeah. They got hockey. Okay. Okay. Name four more things. <laughs> they got ice. They got maple oh, syrup. Dude, you can't do ice. That's not something. We they have got maple ice. syrup. Okay. They have Vancouver. They have Drake. <laughs> They have Kawhi Leonard, <laughs> okay? okay? Drake, Maybe. Drake from Toronto. Dude, Drake is starting to look like a freaking trucker, bro. Like a mixed lesbian <laughs> trucker, dude. He's getting there. He's celebrating a little too much. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. He's celebrating a little too much. He's had too many beef franks, it looks like. You're going to go with Mexico? Listen, there's a reason I'm jumping the border, bro. Mm -hmm. Cartel, well, too, bro. Think about that. It's muy peligroso in Mexico. Mm -hmm. You know, that's Caliente. the problem. There's too many. It, you know, that's the thing. I don't like... If I'm doing cocaine, you know, I don't like to be in a hot, hot area. I like to be more hydrated. Canada. You know, I think Mexico, here's here's what I think would help. We give a river to Mexico. We got a lot of rivers fucking milling around here, you know? The Idaho River, the... You Colorado. name your two. There's one. Yeah. Name the other one. Mississippi. There you go. And then okay. what do you got? Keep going. Huh? Keep going. Dude. Mr. Rivers. <laughs> there's tons of... <laughs> my bad. There's tons my of... My bad. Your mom made you study the <laughs> rivers growing up. Bro, there's tons of rivers, bro. Colorado River. Or he named it. <laughs> no, you didn't? It's the first one I named. <laughs> did you? Yeah, CTE, baby. Which ones did you name, dude? Colorado, Mississippi, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. Keep going. We know I, I'm two river shop. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I do the two mains and I'm out. Dude, the Okeechobee, okay? Ah, oh, this dude making <laughs> Native American names up. Bro, that's the Okawanabi. Florida, yeah, dude. Yeah, maybe. It's, maybe. That's Okeechobee, dude. It's a Florida river. They also have Table the- Table Rock. Uh, that's a mountain in no, South not. Africa. It's in Missouri. It's a river. Table Is it really? Rock. Yes. How big is it? Can someone look it up? Table Rock River? It's a river, dude. Dude, I can say anything, and people have named rivers after. Los Angeles River? How about that? Nope, not a real river. Is it? Nope. Yes, it is. Table Lo Rock Lake, Lake in Missouri, which also the outlet goes yeah. into a river. A <laughs> What's up? Baby. A lake is not just a round river, dude. You're out of your mind. Dude, bro. hey, keep going. Okay. Hey, you've named two of you named yeah. you named Colorado and Mississippi, dude. I'll keep going. Please do. Okay. The Chafuncta River. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. No, hell no. Bro, the Chafunct. I'm starting historically with our native rivers, dude. Okay? I'm gonna go How about the Hudson. The, okay. Uh the Hudson is isn't the Hudson a lake, Lake Hudson? New Jersey, but it's also a river, bro. Is it really? You got to remember. Hudson River? Yes, that's a river. He's from New Jersey. Is Hudson it? Hudson River. Hudson River. Okay, so you got one. <laughs> um, um, what were you saying? I'll go the Missouri River. Very huge river, a lot of water in it. God, what gave you that? The the <laughs> when I said Table Rock because that's in Missouri yeah, yeah no shit dude. Missouri River and, does, and that oh, it's goes, very big and popular river right and there and that goes to <laughs> Table Rock it floats into yeah, Table no Rock. one knows that bro okay I'll go also with the Oklahoma River very huge popular outdoor river I'm glad you scanned over all the rivers that <laughs> okay. came in here and that's another popular river the North Canadian River and my friend uh, Max has a son named Rivers so <laughs> I like that name it is a good name actually. I like the name, uh, I forgot it. 
I thought you were going to get it out of your pants. I had it written down. Um, um, either way, neither one was great with rivers. Can we just say that? Can we meet somewhere in the middle? What Give is this up, lady's bro. problem? Don't, Don't touch, fucking me, touch dude, me, but, but keep, keep touching, touching me, me. bro. Ah, <laughs> that's Brennan's shady idea, man. <laughs> Shady idea. What's so, up with Bangs here? She wants to uh, move to Mexico? Uh, bang a line, Would you rather dude. live in Canada or Mexico, boys? And let me just say, first of all, this is a good, this is hair code. Ladies, if you want to bang, grow them out the front, you know? Let them hang, girl. Yeah. If you want to bang, let them hang. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. If you got them bang for the bang, you know? Trying to bang, you let it hang. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. What? What's up, girl? Hey, is that a little stroke? <laughs> What's up, girl? No, this seems like a beautiful young woman, and I'm happy she reached out to us. What's her name? Grace. Oh, yeah, Ooh, Grace. That, here, Grace needs to stay in Canada if she is there, because that sun would be a real problem in Mexico for this young white lady. That's true. Now, in Can in, in Mexico, you're going to get sun cancer, okay? You're going to get cancer from the sun. In and, Mexico. Yeah, in Mexico. In Mexico, muy you caliente. are. Muy caliente. Muy caliente. You're going to get... Um, you're going to shit your pants. Can't drink the water. You can't drink it. It's going to take a year to adapt to it. The pica de gallo. Yeah. The pica de gallo. The pica de gallo. You can't taste the cheese in the pasta. Yeah. But also, you, if you get down there to some nice areas, things can be good. Say Watanao, where your father lives. What's his name? Morgan Mor Freeman. Mor <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> your father escaped, too. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. But if you guys have we'll to, as soon as we get a camera on Derek, you'll see that he is obviously Morgan Freeman's uh, <laughs> love child. Right? It's so clear as day. Oh, and he's, shit, dude. It's extremely a clear. Freeman child. And no disrespect to your paper dad, but no. I'm talking. And there might be he's hey, from Morgan Freeman's from Memphis, so I'm actually kind of nervous. Is, you know what I mean? Yeah. All I'm saying is look into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You got your own little Tower Seven over there. <laughs> Tower Say Watanao. So that's in Mexico. But yeah, Canada, dude. Look, Canada, I'm saying this. Max Exodus coming to Canada, dude. So a lot of people are gonna be getting out of America and moving to Canada. I would go Canada. Yep, friendly people, safe people. Everyone's friendly. Friendly people in Mexico too. There's just still too much. There's too much uh, disorganization there. There's too much political unrest. There's too much violence. You get murdered. Your friend. You take a friend of Tijuana. When you somebody gets murdered in your group, now you got to find somebody else to be in your fantasy football league at the last uh, minute. You ain't you know? lying. <laughs> and you want to go to show with your buddies, walking the show. It's a donkey show. You think it's a circus? Yeah, it ain't a circus. <laughs> yeah. That ain't in a circus. Yeah, and you Some got kids there eating pay popcorn. The yeah, kids are front row. Yeah, and also sometimes there's a With disconnect. Their you go to like the clubs down there and they're just blasting the loudest music from like 1994. Like sometimes people want a more peaceful environment. Yeah, it's violent in Mexico, man. It's just aggressive, I and feel like. And hot sauce doesn't go with everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm taking my ass to Canada. But uh, Drake, but maple syrup. End of story. But in 10, I would like to re-review this. Let's table this and bring it back up in 10 years or four years. It's a good yeah. point. And see how, because I think Mexico could, could catch up, but they got to tighten some of that stuff up, man. By tighten some stuff, he means all stuff. And why, if it's great, are people leaving there all the time? You know? Like you don't if see it's us great, climbing their walls. It's just not good advertising. It's like, <laughs> if you want us to come, then stay and invite us. <laughs> what, More dude? people would go. <laughs> what, dude? I would go more if people wasn't, you know, always being like, oh, I'm getting the fuck out of there. You know? <laughs> Everyone goes there, right? Everyone. Where, to Mexico? Yes. No. Yeah, for vacation, everybody can't coon. It's dangerous, Porta though. Porta Vallarta. People start missing, you know? People go, oh, I, I don't know. Cancun, Porta yeah. Vallarta. What's the other big Natalie name? Holloway. Missing, bro. You know? Oh, no say. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> bueno, bueno. Uh, Canada all day. 77% of people also went Canada as wow. well. Yeah, there's no cartel in Canada, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, I would love it, yeah, but let's I say we de deviate one of these rivers down to Mexico. I think that would help out a lot. That's one thing we're doing is kind of hogging some of the water. Throw them a <clears> factory, <throat> though. Throw, th Nike, throw them a factory. Yeah, Let's dude. get Apple in Mexico. Yeah, throw them a factory, dude. Light up a... I want a pair of those Betsy Rosses that came out. You see that? No, I didn't see them. Actually, they're kind of shitty looking. Are they? <laughs> yeah. Kaepernick got pissed about them. Oh, I did see him with the old school flag on the back. Yeah. They didn't release those, though, did they? Yeah. Look at you looking at shoes, bro. They were gonna. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Up next, we got Alex from Austin, Texas. Oh, good. This is Alex. Powerful Ooh. hair, dude. What up, Brendan and Theo? This is Alex from Austin, Texas, and I got a debate club for you. Who is better, the Power Rangers or the Ninja Turtles? Buzz, buzz, gang, gang. Gang, bro. Buzz, buzz, dog. This one's too easy for me, bro. It's too easy for you? Yeah, them Power Rangers jumping them tides all gay and shit. Listen, the turtles were the <laughs> shit, man. The turtles were the shit. 
Michelangelo. Do you know all of them? Can huh? you name the turtles? Yes, I can. Go. Dude. Michelangelo. D- um, Donatello. Yes. That's the tricky one. Yeah, Leonardo. Is. And uh, I want to say not Fibonacci. Who is it? <laughs> Raphael. Donatello. Raphael. Raphael. Michelangelo. Leonardo. Donatello. Jesus, we are dumb, man. And the last one. They all sound the same, don't they? Raphael. Four, four baby turtles. Yeah. Well, I don't like, here's the, obviously, you know, they got Shredder, my dog Shredder out there. Shout out to Shredder. You know, and RIP, a lot of people know he died a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Um, But. They're cool, man. Pizza, turtles. That's true. It's easy, bro. It's so easy. The For me, that's Rangers? easy. The Power Rangers, they showed up. You know, they got a couple of, you know. Dude, the Power Rangers, it was a gay pride parade. Oh, that's got, all that was. Bro, they got horses in the back. You <laughs> yeah, know horses saying, in the bro? back. <laughs> Ladies in the front. <laughs> they shing and make a rainbow. And then they're in tights all of a sudden. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, as a kid, I was like, what's happening right now? Yeah. Strange. Yeah, Power Rangers, yeah, I didn't know what they showed up. Like, they, yeah, it seemed a little vague. You couldn't know. You didn't know who was who. What were they defending? Yeah. Do we know? Mm-mm. We don't. But we know the turtles were defending the sewer, the sewer and the rat, their master. Yeah. Discipline. Pizza. April's fine ass. Yeah, dude, damn. <laughs> the rat king. Let's go to the culture Casey. corner. What do you guys think? Because I think Brennan is, you know. You look oh, like dude, a Ninja Turtles all day, bro. Those guys would for sure get pussy. Power Rangers ain't getting no pussy, dog. Damn, took it. Super All right. They're cooler, dog. You ain't lying, yeah. you ain't lying man. And Power they're Rangers. diversity, bro. They're green. They're green. Power Rangers is pretty diverse, too. It had an Asian chick, a black dude, oh, a that's white true. dude. But you couldn't Asian see them sometimes, dude. could you? You couldn't see any of them, really. No. Kat, but, are you a Power Ranger fan? I mean, I feel like I have to be because... Oh, yeah. Oh, you're younger. No. I'm, that was around the time I was growing up. I there, weren't there like a Power Rangers like ninjas or samurai some shit like that. Yeah, I feel like they just represented more Asian people, so I yeah. have to be on their team. I could see that kicking, jumping off of stuff, electricity coming off of them. That's Asian <laughs> stuff, dude. It's God, like more anime are, style, kind of dude, more. Turtles were ninjas. There's nothing more Asian than a ninja. Yeah, the rap, Master Splinter was a Asian. But did they train that much people. or anything? Like a lot of times they, oh, one of them the was time. lazy, I think. Well, they drove lazy. a van. They did, <laughs> they did drive a van with Casey and April. April Channel had them Four tights, News. bro. April had them titatas, Dude, bro. April had them freaking double tortoise hitters in the front. <laughs> yeah. Dang, bro. I'd, she had it banging. Dude, I would freaking. She had that yellow jumpsuit, remember? Bro, I'd put on a diaper and shave my head and pretend I was a baby, dude, to get on that tit. You know it? <laughs> so, what did the people say? Shout out to Turtles, uh, though. 74% Ninja Turtles. Ah, dude, that's oh, yeah. so easy. Yeah, come on. Who the fuck's picking Power Rangers? What else you got? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you who. Uh, 26% of our audience who is, obviously, uh, Cat Stalkers. So. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we got Clay from Indianapolis. Oh, yeah. I like people named after stuff uh, that's oh. in the bottom of a river. <laughs> what up, Theo? What up, Brennan? Is this from 19... 19- it's your boy Clay from 70. Indianapolis. Got a debate club for you. It's from the future. Cash or card, paper or plastic. That Coke hitter or that Coke chopper? Oh. What's in your wallet? Hope you guys are doing well. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Is that Macho Man Randy Whoa, Savage? <laughs> I like that. that nice. This guy is awesome. Look at that gang gang buzz buzz. Wow. Dude. He sent this to us from 1987. Oh, I he get knew the vibe. we were going to be here. He's in Indy. Might be at my show in Indy, I would assume. He's, He's dressed, dressed like that past, as well. But what do you mean? He's probably deceased now. It's from 1987. This show's getting out of hand. This guy's coming from the future, you know what I'm saying? It's the, like the past, Terminator. you delinquent. That's the Terminator, bro. Yeah, but the past is 1987. We're not. It doesn't go backwards. Hey, but is he asking if I like cash or credit? Or yeah. We're just talking about drugs. Cash or credit, like at the store. Oh, come on, bro. Listen, I'm more of a cash guy. I'm old school. I like having cash. Yeah. Are you a cash hitter? I like having cash, dude. You can't make because... it rain with credit cards. Yeah. You feel you me? You can. If you throw your credit card at a stripper, but they will accept it. I'll tell you, you that. You can swipe them cheeks. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Yeah, dude. You're trying to swipe cheeks, trying to make it rain. Huh? Swipe cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I feel you getting pink eye, bro. That sounds <laughs> dangerous, brother. It's my middle name, dog. 
Um, You're a cash cow, though? Yeah, I like cash, man. I like to have a little cash hidden around and stuff like that. You know, in case there's a, you know, in case you get ki somebody kidnaps or whatever, you can pay them right there. You get kidnapped, you can pay them right there. I'm not driving off to the ATM. That's where you get murdered by kidnappers. I like to pay right up front if I get kidnapped. I feel, I like a little cash. Also, is there anything more embarrassing when you valet a car or some shit and you don't have cash to tip the dude? Mm -hmm. I go, oh, I'll get you next time, man. Knowing damn well it's not going to be for a long time. And you'll forget. For sure. And he'll forget. No, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> you're right bro you're you won't right. forget you're right and that's crazy it's also really yeah you can't really tip people anymore because like that's the community too it's like that's a harder working environment you know people that are doing jobs and need tips and you can't even tip them no nah, now tips if it's, everything's card you just tip them with advice stay yeah. in school Comb your hair. <laughs> Stay in school, dude. <laughs> Bro, you didn't even do that. Dude, I have a degree. In... You didn't even go to school. Yeah, I did, bro. What like school? Huh? MTV doesn't count. A lot of different <laughs> schools, bro. Adult schools, adult college. You're crazy, boy. You can name more rivers than me, though. I'll give you that. You tell your mom I said congrats. Bro, if we had a map contest, bro. You tell your contest, mom I said bro, you did a good job on the rivers. If we had a map contest... I'd smoke you. <laughs> okay? And I'm going cash, baby. I'm doing it. Look, I don't even care if you cut the cocaine up, dude. Me you know neither, what I'm bro. saying, Give bro? me the block of ice, baby. Dude, yeah. I'll put it... Dude, I'll hide a... Look, you know, I'll throw a gram in my b-hole, bro, in that rear jaw. You feel me? <laughs> Let's go, daddy. I'll put that devil brick in my anus. <laughs> Horses in the bag, dude, huh? <laughs> White horses in the bag, <laughs> dude. I don't know, bro. I bet you'd let a couple dark horses park there. <laughs> don't touch me, dude. I will call the cops. There's a lot of footage of you reaching over here. Let's dude, keep this moving. I can't, I can't keep, I, See, You're the one that took it weird, didn't you? Huh? You're the one that took it weird there, dude. Hear people booing? Horses in the bag. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> that song has a different meaning, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's a little different now. I still like it though. Uh, Fifty-eight percent went with cash as well. Fuck boys. yeah, dude. Yeah, you look. Cash like, is gangster, isn't it? Huh? Cash, cash is, is just more real. Yeah, if credit, if the, you know, if the if the they unplug it all, you got nothing. Credit feels fake. It's nothing. Well, if they unplug it, you got nothing, man. You're right, dude. You got nothing, the boy. Bank just zip. Zip your shit. Yeah, and where are you going to go? Who are you going to go knock on the bank? Who are you going to complain to? Carl at the bank? That motherfucker's gone, bro. U.S. Bank don't give a fuck about your dreams. Yeah. Cash it out, man. Cash city. Shit's about to get heated. I say cash it out. Yep. Start hiding cash in your backyard. Yeah. Time to pay the bills. What's up? Bro, those are good, dude. Thank you, bro. You know... Dude, you look like double O Shab. Thanks, bro. Double O twelve. Uh, you shouldn't have to choose between overpriced designer sunglasses and cheap shades, dude. Yeah, the cheap ones won't last. They yeah. never do. You lose them. They fall apart. Oh yeah, someone takes them, or uh, what if somebody a raccoon runs off with them? Even you could know? happen, dude. It could happen. The Los Angeles based accessories brand. I'm talking about movement. Yep. Movement has the best sunglasses. They look dope. Constructed with durable, lightweight materials for the perfect reliable fit. Look at me, bro. Oh, look dude. at me, ready for that summer hitter. Oh, you definitely look like a guy that's not going to pay his uh, parking meter. But you look swaggy, dude. I'll say that. That's all I want. And they have free shipping and free returns. That's their policy. So you can try on as many styles as you want right from home. MVMT, they make watches and they now have sunglasses. Yeah, and this is what the cool thing. All their lens are polarized. Mm -hmm. Remember back in the day, you're like, are they polarized? Yeah, movement sunglasses are. And they start at 60 bucks. No pair is over $95. So you're guaranteed to find the style you love with quality that doesn't break the bang. Yep, you can see far. You can see the North Pole even. I see everything. Get 15% off today with free shipping, free returns by going to MVMT.com slash cats. Mm -hmm. See why movement keeps on keeping on. Check out their expanded collection. Go to MVMT.com slash cats. Yep. Get them uh, sunglasses and join the movement. Someone's got to pay for Brennan's coffee habit. You guys want to do a little flaunt my aunt? Fuck yeah. Yeah, flaunt let's see some, some hotties, dude. Yeah, yeah. I can't <laughs> right. deal with this. I keep having to look Where's at Where's Pop this. my uncle at? What else? Ooh. <laughs> what? Well, how about first we got... How Damn, about that? We can little, start with that. A uh, little first, Nas, bro. Right? Uncle Slick Victor. <laughs> Damn. 
Hey, ¿qué pasó? This is a regular picture of a dude, man. <laughs> he's, just, he's just fishing. It's just a nice guy fishing. No, he caught that with his hands, dude, and he's a freaking Native American. Oh, he, no, Let's yeah, zoom in a, on him a little. He's an Eskimo. He's an Eskimo. Yeah. They call him Schemos, bro. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> that, that, guy. He's, that fish can eat. 50 years old. Uh, he likes to fish and do crossword puzzles when he's hitting his vape. He's also <laughs> a retired stripper who now just has a warehouse job. But in his younger days, he used to strip. Speaking of cats. Oh, he's a Native American, dude. I mean, you basically just described every Native American mm -hmm. I've ever met. Let me guess. He drinks alcohol as well. Um, <laughs> that's not even a lake behind him, dude. That's gin. Okay? <laughs> that's vodka. <laughs> if you can that's see That's his this. backyard full of vodka. No, man. Victor, you seem like a swell guy, man, and hand-caught fish. I love that. And you could tell he's not mistreating the fish. A lot of guys, they they get the fish and they throw it in a little ice cooler or something. Oh, I think no you're ice off, in bro. there. I think you're off. The, them Eskimos were mean as fuck to these fish. No. He's going to eat that thing face first as soon as the camera looks away. Boy, he might eat it like that, but he's going to look it in the eyes before he eats it. Not like other people that sneak up behind it and skin it. What I'm saying is this, dude. Is that male or female, that fish? Can we zoom in on it a little? I'm going to go with male, but we don't know. Now, do you catch that thing with a... His hands are dirty as fuck. He catch that thing with a with a pole, a fishing pole, or his hands? His hands are dirty from this years. This man knows poles, bro. From years of hard work, On bro. On a pole? He's, he's a Native <laughs> American. <laughs> he's a, he, dude, but he was a stripper on a pole. Yeah, they... Dude, you have to be. How was she going to make any money, dude? Drinking? <laughs> you can't make any money just drinking. Don't they make ices? I don't think so. That's Hawaiians. Ah, oh, you're right. You're right, dude. Again, shout out to your mom. Beautiful guy. And he used to strip as well. I wonder what led him into that. <laughs> yeah. Does it say anything else about him? No, that's all we know. Good for him, man. Mm. little Magic Mike Eskimo vibe there. Yeah. I like him. What do you guys think of this guy since he looks... Uh, Magic like Victor. He looks like a neat man, like a guy who's... He looks kind of like that guy. Um, Who's the guy that hides in the woods with football players and stuff? Uh, hides in the woods with football players. You know what I'm talking about. Um, And he puts like... Give me some more description there. And he would touch him? You can touch... I mean, uh, yeah, you could touch him if you meet him. I've never met him. Hides in the woods with football yes, players? Yes, dude, with... uh. Come on. Leonard, uh, Leonard, uh, who's that running back that played for Seattle? Marshawn Lynch. Yes. He hides with people in the woods? Bear Grylls, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh! He looks like Bear Grylls, kind of. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, but definitely not. <laughs> you don't think so? No, not in any fashion. Zoom in a little bit. Definitely Bear like in Grylls the eyes. An Eskimo. <laughs> I mean, it's... Wow, he's a stripper too, huh? Would you watch this guy strip, you think? I'd watch fucking I don't know, man. slap that. Derek, what do you think? Around? I don't know if I'm being racist or he's just he just seems so short. He's like five one, this guy. <laughs> you want a tall stripper? I got I need some length, man. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> I need some body. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm with you, man. <laughs> no one likes to watch small people do anything. <laughs> oh, that's not true, Brandon. <laughs> no one likes small fighters, no one likes small strippers, <laughs> no one likes small basketball, small football. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want some, I'm with D. I, I need some length. I need that fucking anaconda in my face if I'm gonna, <laughs> if I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Somebody call Carl Lentz, bro. I need a pastor, man. <laughs> I need the Lord if I'm gonna sit here anymore. You need that anaconda in your face. You're just, you're nuts, guy. Dude, I'm talking about if I was at a strip club and that was my thing. With D, I need some length. How did we get here? This is a man with a fish, a he's hand. He's a stripper with a fish. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and he's a nice young gentleman. Is he, though? This looks like a bait and switch, literally. He's out here, he's showing us the fish, but really, he probably didn't even have any ass on those shorts. He probably has the ass cut out of him. You know what? <laughs> he's, he's a catfish. Yeah, he's a catfish. He's a catfish. And what's he doing now? He's in witness protection, they said? Do they say anything else? No, he's just working in a warehouse now. Oh, that's witness protection, okay? First of all. <laughs> For sure. Working at a warehouse, dude. <laughs> okay, be more general, <laughs> yeah. Victor. <laughs> yeah, Victor, the stripper fisherman. A lot of left. No one's and, buying this shit. Yeah, a lot of left and right turns in this story. So I think that, uh, yeah, Victor is a, I think. Uh, Victor's a nice young uncle. Yeah, we just don't know who he really is. No, I think he's lying about everything, and he's a catfish if I've ever seen one. Yep, so flaunt my uncle. What was it? Pop my uncle. <laughs> Pop my uncle. What do we call the uncles on this show? Did this? Did we change the whole idea behind this show while I was out of town? While I was, while you're what daydreaming? <laughs> yeah. Do you even know where you're at right now? 
I think I was in freaking Smoke, Oklahoma, dude. What else we got? Oh, two guys in Oklahoma said that they're upset with you about something. I don't remember what it was, though, but that's all they said. Dang, I wish you knew. I know. I try to get more information, but I think the guy was drunk. That's fair. So I was like, all right, I'll tell him that. Well, shout out to Oklahoma. Yeah. What else you got, D? Hold on one second, boys. Horses in the back, bitches in the front. Uh, There's not that many bitches in the front, apparently. It's just really. (laughs) It's just horses in the back. Yeah. Horses okay. in the back, horses in the front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, ready for the next one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds it. like the Alamo, really, that he's singing about. <laughs> yeah, or an interesting party he had one night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sound like Victor's Horses buddy. in the front, horses in the back. Yeah, I know that song's kind of catchy. Right, what else you got, Doug? We got uh, Aunt Sherry and her partner, Aunt Randy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not mad at these ant on ant. <laughs> and this is flowers in here. the front, flowers in the back. <laughs> these freaking dude. I used to live across the street. Pops. I used to live across the street from some beautiful lesbians, dude. And Nicest I'm, people on earth, aren't they? Well, I don't know about that, but one of them worked at the library. I remember that, and uh, and. Yeah, they were cool. They were a little bit violent sometimes, though. With each but other? But they love to put up Christmas decorations. Yeah, they can always bake, can't they? I mean, they could they could stare a fucking batter into a damn brownie, bro. Lesbians can get pretty damn aggressive. They have some cool powers, man. <laughs> they have some yeah. cool, useless powers, for sure. Well, it just depends. You have different types of, you know, lesbian women. I, what gets me is there's some that's angry against men for no reason, like... You know, and that kind of stuff kind of gets on my nerves. Well, they sometimes. think it's a competition. You know what's weird to me is when you got like one, I think they call them lipstick lesbians, which it's just this dimey dime, right? Who mm-hmm. likes women, but then she's dating a butch girl that looks oh, like a yeah. man. She get a dude, baby. Yeah, but they don't want to do because dudes. Well, here's the thing a lot the butch lesbian women are the most covert men you've ever met in your life, bro. They're mean? like the swaggiest men ever. They got a lot of testosterone. Well, they know exactly what to say to a woman. They're basically, they're good. They're like Neil Strauss's or whatever, that guy that wrote the book that picking up women, you know? Oh, no, they're like Mel Gibson, What Women Want. Yes. But lesbians. Yeah, they're <laughs> so swaggy, dude, and they're beating us at our own game of chasing women because... That's our competition, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And of course they're going to tell chicks, don't go by men, you know, because they want the chicks. They're tricking us, I think. Whatever, dude. I'm pissed, dude. I'm I'm fucking pissed. (laughs) I'm fucking pissed. You're so right, dude. Am I? Because I don't know what I'm talking about. But you're right. Whatever you're talking about, you're right, dude. I don't think so, man. I think you're right. You're out of your mind, bro. I guess, dude. Dude, how can you say I'm right if I don't know what I'm talking about? That means you're crazy. I'm crazy. You look like a butch lesbian. (laughs) So it's all good. Oh, definitely. Now, if we're talking hairstyle (laughs) and t-shirt size, yeah, dude. These are my people, bro. That's your community. Now, look. Wait, what do these bitches want? (laughs) <laughs> they want <laughs> Jesus man they they're want just to flaunt their pups where they're trying to rank they, them stupid dogs no. talk about a safe dog could there be any safer dog than golden retrievers oh yeah they want more pets first of all is what they want uh, can't have also, kids also are we sure these are lesbians we don't know what information do we have on these beautiful well we ladies? know they're partners and okay they're they could own- be business partners does it say do they have an LLC or yeah, something yeah do they own a corporation I don't think so I think, you think partners in life I think so I think they own a ring yeah, together for marriage. You, know? mm-hmm. you think they own a ring? Yeah, for marriage. Yeah. And then uh, they also are owners of multiple doggy daycares in New Jersey. Oh. And now that's another thing, man. Lesbians, uh, lesbian women uh, can take care of pets better than anyone. <laughs> I agree with that. And that's a superpower, man, they to have like that kids. much affection and stuff, to be able to take care of animals, birds, too. Dude, it's rare you catch a decent lesbian woman without a bird or a parrotlet or something at the house. Yeah, well-maintained parakeet or some shit. Yeah, and that's... They, I mean, they, they, we're all I doing something, honest, man. These partners, look, these lesbians look boring. You know what I'm saying? They look super boring. Like they go to Bed Bath & Beyond on the weekends. You know, it just doesn't look like a fun time. The background's annoying me for whatever reason. I don't know. This whole thing just... I don't know. I don't know, dude. Well, first of all, they have a black dog, which I think is... You know, for them, that's a big step, I think, even in that community. <laughs> good point. <laughs> good they point. have Christmas decorations, so they're celebratory. 
you know, I think they similar haircut. Bro, here's the thing: you can't look. Just look at them as like two cool dudes that also have four dogs, and two gay dudes. <clears throat> No, that's the thing. You have to look at them as straight dudes. Like, oh, look at these straight ass dudes. Oh, then that's a cool picture. Yeah. Yeah, it's two dudes with four dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It. Yeah. And one has a vest on. <laughs> this is dope. Yeah, I bro. about that, dude. A hundred percent, man. Look Not at the glass half, half full. Yeah, yeah, bro. You got to look at the, uh, yeah, you got to look at this decently. Shout out to both these aunties. Yeah, and what is it? What does it say? For, is this for Font My Aunt? Yes, sir. Whose aunt is it? Uh, we bunch don't know of, whose aunt it is. Bunch of people's yes. aunt. Damn, do we even fucking know? <laughs> bunch of the people aunt. submitting these people know these people? <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they definitely know them. They, you're not going to just submit this pick from the mall. Yeah. You know, this is a high quality There's pick. no system of checks and balances here. Is this CNN, dude? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <clears throat> what else you got, D? Oh, God. Uh, up next, we got Uncle Eddie. This is Uncle Eddie. We're still on Flop My... Yeah, it was the last one for Flop My... Oh, hell. God yeah. damn, Eddie. What do you think about this guy, Kat? What's your first thought when this you see a man like this in Scared America? Scared, Kat? I won't um, say, don't give her any ideas, Brendan. Let her talk. I think of the movie The Revenant. Mm, I think he's I a, an outdoorsy man, can take care of himself, maybe other people very well. Does but, anyone notice he has the biggest glove in the world? Yeah. <laughs> That the, size the glove that is off glove. Oh, and he's no. in a snowstorm, bro. He's Snow Jay Simpson, bro. Look at this dude, bro. Dude. That's the biggest glove I've ever seen. The biggest glove yeah, ever. Bro, yeah. Definitely will fit. And we can't acquit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. This dude will suck the liver right out of an emu's butt, dude. This guy. <laughs> yeah. This, this dude, dude fucking, <laughs> fucking arm wrestle a moose. No problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, this guy uh, definitely has a couple missing wives. <laughs> I'll say that, you know. Or missing little cubs because he's a big old bear if you catch yeah, my drift. He yeah, he's out there on his own. Some broke back revenant shit going on. <laughs> That's the vibe I get. Yeah, he could, I don't know if he seems very homoerotic to me, man. But it, also, if you're out in the snow, dude. you By yourself? Yeah. Dude, does he bench 700 you'll, pounds? He's huge. Bro, you'll fuck a warm wall if you're out in the snow for a long time. Yeah, it ain't gay if you're out there too long. Yeah, if you've been out there a week, dude, who horses knows? Horses in the back. Yeah, horses, horses in, in the, the front. front. <laughs> <laughs> who cares, man? Who cares, dude? Shout out to this fucking <laughs> Uncle, hunter, what's dude. his name, Herman? Uncle Eddie. Eddie. Shout out to Edward. And do we know any other information about him? Oh, yeah. we. Uh, he's the biggest redneck you'll ever meet, apparently. Mm. He... Uh, Worked at a truck stop for years, keeping lot lizards under control, and now is just in it killing animals, and sometimes he actually kills them with his bare hands. I buy all of that. I love that, I man. believe all that. <laughs> <laughs> and does it say anything else that he likes to do? Does he read or does he do, you know? I'd be he... interested to see what his favorite shows favorite are. Favorite shows are, me too. I'd be very <laughs> interested to see what his favorite shows are. Any guesses? Wonder Years, I bet. You're going Wonder Years? What would you do about I don't do? Do? Everyone said the, the best friend out there was Marilyn Manson for a hot second. It's not, though. That's when the internet started, dude. That's yep. what started the That's internet, the really. Do you, and did you hear the other rumor? Marilyn Manson oh. removed a rib? He had to blow himself? That, you, he you, started you that, I bet. You went there. I was just saying he removed a rib. Yeah. Yeah, I heard he removed a rib and made a spoon out of it to have soup. I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it, dude. Shout out to this giant uncle. Do you think do you think if somebody took one of your ribs out of your body and put it in a lineup with other bones or other ribs, you'd be able to know your rib no, from others? I'm not a rib expert. But what if you touched each rib? Would you know you think which one is yours? They, they now I'm saying they put you to sleep, they take a rib out of your body. Sure. Okay, they chop a rib out. Then put it next to some baby back ribs? No, they just put it. No, you're gonna notice if it's like in a in a rack of ribs. Like we're not. It's in a rack of ribs. No, is it covered in St. Louis Jesus barbecue Christ. sauce, or are we talking south southern barbecue sauce? Oh, uh, I feel like this, dude. I feel like this wilderness guy. When I get into a conversation with you, dude, I feel like I'm in the wilderness. <laughs> Go. Yeah, and I feel like we're running out of water, and it's getting late. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and say they took ribs out of other people. Out of, six, out of six other people, and they set all those, each one of those ribs in front of you. If you touched the rib, do you think you would get a sense of which one was yours? No. Do you? I think you would, probably. I don't think you think you'd get, what do they call the pain? Like, 
Sometimes when soldiers or people like a shark bites off an arm, oh it's shark it's pain, I think sympathy pains. Phantom, phantom, I think it's like, like phantom, phantom pain. right? Yeah. Like it still feels like your arms there. If you phantom pain. dude from uh, Marvel Universe, or whatever. No, you guys phantom of the opera. Is, I think what Dee's yeah, talking about. They're fucking crazy. The phantom of the opera is here. All right, let's go on. <laughs> oh my god, bro, your brain is like a damn blender, dude. It's a bunch of just shit, man. <laughs> Up next, we got Just a little a shit smoothie in there. Hey, we need to get you a cigarette or somebody's dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Dick jokes, huh? Funny still? All right, Theo. Up next, we Sorry, got... Sorry, <laughs> Don't apologize to this fuck. I want him to be mad Hey, man. Dude. Thank you, Derek, for being at least trying to be respectful to everyone. Probably. I'm trying to. <laughs> um, we got some relationship advice. This is Angela from Spring, Oklahoma. Oh, she sounds beautiful. Mm. Oh, Whoa, Nike. Bro. <laughs> Got that <laughs> chest ink, bro. Hey, guys. Whoa. My name is Angela. Snakes I'm in the front. Spring, Oklahoma. <laughs> Snakes in the so back. Today I'm needing some relationship advice. Uh, my guy that I was with for two years. Is she a robot? Um, we just recently broke up. Oh. He constantly cheated. Oh. Uh, he's not the only one. Every guy before him that I've been with has felt the need to wander off. Yeah. Doesn't matter what I do, uh, keeping up with the house, making sure food's on the table, it's keeping the, up with myself. It's the 1950s. Making sure things stay exciting. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, they Brent, always come back. That's the thing. Hold on. It's sorry. Brendan so wants to I'm starve at home, obviously. Let's start over. Let's go back to the middle. This lady. <laughs> Hold up, though. This is this in the 1950s housewife? <laughs> <laughs> Food's always on the table. House is spotless. I don't say much when he walks in the door. <laughs> She's just holding the mail. She's like, tell me what it says. <laughs> you know, I don't educate myself. Uh, I just, what are you okay, talking quiet, about? And I just, Bro, she is a housewife. This is what she likes to do. Be at home. Do recipes. Take care of the house. Take care of the kids. Well, that shit ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Get me out of this, man. No, that's, that's I feel like I'm thinking. at a Dave and Buster's and the power's out, bro. That's what I feel like. <laughs> yeah. But Brendan's still playing all the games. <laughs> He's still kicking the ticket machine, wondering why the tickets aren't coming out. Who cares why they're not coming out? Take 70,000 tickets to get a damn whistle, you idiot. All right, let's let this poor lady finish. Okay. No matter what I do, uh, keeping up with the house, making sure food's on the table, keeping up with myself, uh, making sure things stay exciting, role-playing in the bedroom, doesn't damn. matter. But they always come back. That's the thing. Oh. oh. So I'm just wondering, what makes them want to wander in the first place? Tell me something good. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Right? Buzz, 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 my little vixen. Buzz, buzz, my housewife vixen. I think she said buzz bust, I think, at the end. Oh, bro. Dang, dude. That, she, that buzz had an that, ST on the end of it. <laughs> Um, Phew, doggy, you, where do you go ahead, bro? You start this one after you condemn this lady's lifestyle. <laughs> I'd love to see how you're gonna dig yourself out of this, bro. <laughs> shovels in the front, dude. Dig yourself out of this shithole you put yourself in. Shovels in the front, <laughs> shovels in the back. Man, they always come back. I don't know, man. Maybe they take her for granted and they're just not trying to fuck with her. Or maybe she's just too good and they're like, God, she might be overwhelming. It sounds oh. like she doesn't have her own shit going on. Get a hobby. Get less tattoos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you don't like get maybe, less maybe, tattoos, Brendan. You well, can't just do that. She, we'll just stop getting them, maybe. Although I think they're sexy. Okay, what then why would you say in? that then? She is from uh, Spring, Oklahoma. Oh, Sprung. <laughs> Sprung, Maybe, maybe them boys are out there doing that broke back shit and then come back after the after the storm. Well, you know what I'm saying? No, that's a, not even a good idea, I don't think. But what I will say is this, and I'm sorry, it's a good idea, but I just don't think that that's accurate. What I'm thinking is if these guys are leaving, well, maybe y'all have too many doors on your house or apartment. You know? Talking about taking people prisoner? No, if people can get out easily. Yeah, no, don't take them prisoner, but... Don't put four doors on your house. But here's the and other then be thing. upset if your spouse leaves. They can fucking get out <laughs> yeah. so easily. Yeah, maybe he's confused. 
Yeah, here's, here's do one thing. door. I don't even do a back door. You come in the front, you go out the front. One door. Doors one door. in the front. <laughs> Doors in the front. That's also, it, man. quit making so many goddamn pies. Sounds like she's cooking all the time. Maybe it's overwhelming for the dude. Maybe you need to mix it up. Start going out on him. Quit making apple pies, cherry pies, rhubarb, pecan, pumpkin. Oh, wow, dude. You one know? pie a week, bro. Yeah. One pie a week. Netflix and chill. Oh, yeah. She seems like an older soul. Does she? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan, oh though. God. I hope it works out. Do you? Nope. <laughs> oh, my God, man. You are just a real strange guy, man. Come on, bro. Don't well, touch me. Do not touch but me, keep dude. keep touching him. <laughs> Look, I think maybe, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's go to Cat. Maybe let's, go to we'll get, let's get a woman's perspective. But let's also talk to Derek as well, you know? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, definitely. She's providing way too much to these guys. You yeah. can't do that, especially when you're younger. They get too comfortable, start taking you for granted. Mm. Also, how, how old is she? Cat's right. How young. old is she? Yeah, if you're 19, homeboy's coming on, you got a seven course meal, and you're dressed like a 50s housewife, and you got fucking, you know, you got, you're, holding, you're, too, you're doing too much. You're scaring everybody away, it sounds like. Yeah, you're you going out the alley in one of the seven doors you have in your house. Yeah. Having a little fun. Yeah, yeah maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know, cat. She may be chasing guys who just aren't ready to settle down the same way she is, too. Because she's hot. She's yeah, that's hot, true. She's young. Maybe she's ready for something that younger guys around her age aren't ready for. Older soul. Exactly. D, what do you think? I think she definitely hooks up with a lot of dudes who attract a lot of girls. So stop that. Fuck a Seth Rogen looking motherfucker. Yeah. Who's going to be grateful mm -hmm. that he's, look at you. You know what I mean? And I bet that problem's done. And then if that guy cheats on you, then it's definitely you. You know what I mean? Read a book or something. You're right. saying get an ugly, get an ugly dude. Get an, a, get an ugly get dude. Get an ugly dude. Let's switch it up. Shades of gray. I'm sure you're fucking the same guy over and over again, and that's why they keep cheating. You're talking about that bad boy hitter. That bad boy hitter. Well, there's an that e pipe game. Yeah, there's an e <laughs> yeah, there's a whole spectrum to it. You, if you get a guy that's all about looks or something like that, then you might, you know, you not, might not get a guy that has as much heart or as much like you know, uh, gratitude or anything like that. So you got to kind of even the scale out. It's like, if you get a 10 in looks, then they're going to be a seven in some, you know, it's all, it's all relative. It's all evens out. You know, you want, that's why you want to get that eight. You want to find an eight. <laughs> the hard <laughs> eight. That hard, the eight. hard eight. Don't go for the 10 fuck boy. Yeah. Get that, that eight. Take yeah. down a date. Get that eight. Yeah. <laughs> date an eight. Date an eight. Because everybody can be an eight. Here's the thing. Everybody can be an eight if they take care of themselves. I don't believe that, but I like, I like how positive you are. An eight's an eight. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can be a five, but an eight? No, if you brush your teeth and you, <laughs> and you I think, have you know, a little bit of insight the into right yourself. Attitude. Yeah, some self-awareness. I Dress think you well, can be an eight. I think a high she can be as a six. Damn. Yeah, God doesn't give everyone good looks, bro. <laughs> Trust me. I know, dude. I know you know. Okay. But look what you've done with your stuff. Dude, I'm cross-eyed, but both of them are in the same. They're both. The straight cross. Yeah. Yeah, you're like a chameleon. Yeah, it's crossed on the inside. On the outside, it looks fine. Shout out to this lady. Though. I hope she figures out. Quit fucking with them fuck boys, though. That's the problem. Well, I don't know if we we didn't help that woman. I feel like we did, though. <laughs> well. How about a little rip my drip then, fellas, yeah? Yeah, let's rip them up. It's a surprising yeah. feeling you got. Uh, first, we got uh, Nigel and his girlfriend, Tiana. Wait, how do you pronounce that word? Nigel. Okay. And then Tiana. Just saying, I don't want anybody sending in something racist to us. <laughs> oh, dang. Dang, it looks like J. Cole and Nicki Minaj yeah. they made every wrong decision. Um, <laughs> boy, I like. you know what I like? I like how they're wearing the same color. Mm -hmm. I like how he's obviously in white pants. When This isn't even a race thing, but I feel like only black guys can pull off white pants. Not a lot of white dudes pulling off white pants. Yeah. Latin yeah. or black, white yeah, dudes can't Cuban pull it off. I don't know, though, Mark Twain. That was a thing back then, though. Mark Twain. What about um, Don oh, Johnson? Uh, Don Johnson. Don Johnson. Ooh. Mark Twain. Also, that guy who had the megaphone in WWE and WWF. Brett, uh, the Mouth of the South. Jimmy Hart. Was that him? No, Mouth of the South. You guys know who the Mouth of the South is? 
did he have white pants on though? But yeah. in gen- well, there's some exceptions, but in general, white dudes should stay away from white pants. Yeah. So, but yeah, a black guy or a, a mixed guy, a guy with some tint in his skin, can, can look better in lighter colors because there's can more salsa contrast. Dance, you can wear white pants. Yeah, that's my rule. So we they want to flaunt that on, huh? <laughs> no, they want that drip rip. Mm. Oh, rip that drip. Yeah, yeah. I like the matchy matchy. I think it's kind of like, because then you know you're a team. Unless you're out there fighting. If I see a couple in matching shit that's fighting. Nothing worse. Oh, She got them horses in the front. Oh, Ooh. yeah. She got them milk horses in the front, dude. Horses in the front. Camels in the back. A couple dairy ponies parked on the freaking, uh, <laughs> on the Ponderosa. <laughs> but no, they both look like handsome people there. Yeah, he's that's got, a good looking uh, couple, man. Now, he's got that Rastafarian vibe coming in a little longer, and he's not going to probably, he's going to have trouble probably getting employed, except unless he's, you know... Uh, Smelling that reefer. Selling reefer or doing boating or doing fishing. And also, uh, dreads tend to smell like dookie. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. There's a length at a certain point. I think he's still in a safe zone. He's in that <laughs> J. Cole zone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go any longer dude there's nothing worse than a long long oh yeah you know what i'm saying oh you can snip one off and smoke it dude you know (laughs) bro if you cut off part of a dreadlock and plant it dude stuff fucking grows out they did that in our school when i was a kid that makes sense dude white people with dreads name something worse go um doesn't exist (laughs) (laughs) I like these two. I'd like to see a jerry curl come back on this beautiful gentleman right here. I think he could do it. I would it. like you in a jerry curl. I can't do it. Oh, we could put I, some I can do S- a perm. No, we could put an S curl in your hair. I don't think we can, man. We don't know. Derek? D, D what do you... D, we should do something with D. I can get that jerry curl, bro. Yeah, Ooh, dude, if you had you a jerry like curl... Easy e, bro. I have that easy E look. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Do real. it, bro. Yeah. Right. That should be dope. Well, here's the thing. I, I, nobody has one. I've been saying... They have a guy, Miles, that works at the Laugh Factory, and he's got real kind of curly hair. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. And he, I've always, I've been telling him to grow on for a while. Or, or, or just suggesting to him. Dude, have you ever seen a black mm. dude with an escrow mullet? Like, what if know. you mullet it up a little bit? Escrow hair and then shave the sides. And just mullet it up. Dude, when I, when I was young, they had a lot of jerry curls, and I loved them. I loved them. You Deion don't see Sanders them anymore. had one. Yeah. Easy E. Bo Jackson, did he even have, have one for a little bit? I think for a little when he was younger, younger. For maybe. a hot yeah, second, he younger, younger, younger. Yeah. yeah. College days. Dude, but Deion Sanders had fine. that wet, wet. Oh, bro. <sighs> dude, he used to keep a cup on his shoulder and just drip into drip. it. The real, the <laughs> first was drip. Beautiful, drip. dude. Pour right into his fucking car and cruise off. Hell yeah. <laughs> cruise Praise off. God, bro. Beautiful. All right. He had that matchy matchy. It's a risky move, though. If y'all end up fighting in the street, bro, that shit doesn't, you know. Also, what's behind them, though? What is that? The only time on- I've ever seen mirrors like that are at a. They're on, on a vacation ship. on a cruise. Yep, on vaca- in the Bahamas on a I cruise. I thought it looked weird. Mm-hmm. I thought That's that Natalie weird. Holloway gift set right there in the sink. They got a mm-hmm. couple snor- snorkel masks. That Titanic fashion. I'm not mad at them. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to both. They're a lovely couple. And Looking she's a flashy. Dime. She's a dimey dime. What else we got? Ooh. Up next, we got, uh, this is Young Chap from Baltimore. Chap? Young Chap. Damn. So this dude, I think, is Jewish, maybe. Did Ice take this picture? What's going on here? He's covered in five Gs of Kratom straight from Thailand. Oh, damn. Don't let Chin see this. He said he sent this one in for Chin. This This guy's This guy's British, I think. Is that Mr. Bean's son? (laughs) (laughs) Dude, that's that Kratom hitter right there. He's from Baltimore, man. This dude's for real. Gang, bro. Which is... Donnie is his name? His name, uh, Young Chap. I bet, I, bet, I bet he snorts all that Kratom, just writes the meanest blog on the internet. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Dude, oh, how much Kratom is that? And it's, he, 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 he got two different colors. Yeah, he's that's that deep Kratom dive. <sighs> Them Kratom dives. You ever fucks with the Kratom? Uh-uh. I've seen, you know, there's been some videos of Chin having... Chin would do it and just start singing. Yeah. Snorts and just starts singing like a country western. Can you snort it? You can do anything with it, Theo. Dude, I snorted some vitamin B one time in a um, like a tele like a TV thing they were shooting. Pretty cool. It's like fake cocaine. You can do as much as you want. Oh, that's what they put, right? Yeah. For the white powder. Yeah, it's really cool. You can just keep doing it. Weird. Shout out to this kratom king, though. That's yeah. the kratom king. Damn, bro. That's young chap, dude. Theo, he apparently sent you some Michelle's granola a few weeks back. Don't eat and that. And he wondered what he thought. Don't eat that, dude. I have not opened that yet. Um, Probably but as soon as that. I do. 
I'll eat it, bro. Maybe, or he fucking doused it and covered it in kratom. <laughs> oh, you don't have no, you have no hope, dude. You're sending him granola. Send your boy some kratom. I'm not like Theo. I'm not a pussy. I'll take it, dude. Damn, <laughs> well, hey, kratom king. <laughs> I do I use it every day? <laughs> Maybe. I don't think you can handle hey. it. <laughs> hey, kratom king. <laughs> You know oh I'm feeling, God, dog. Bro. What else we got? <laughs> Thank you, young chap. I haven't eaten the brownies yet. <laughs> it's granola, bro. Yeah, it will be. If it, well, if it was brownies, it'll definitely be granola by the time I open it because it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> but thank you for sending it, man. That's sweet of you, bro. That and I'll have sweet, some of it. Sweet, sweet. And good luck out there, dude. Obviously, you're going to get busted for something. <laughs> <laughs> dude, good luck slanging that kratom on the streets of Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, dude. Actually, way good luck. If you've been to Baltimore, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Wire? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. This... Yeah, bro. Baltimore. More Ravens. You got Ray oh, that's Lewis squad too. the Orioles. streets. Oh, yeah. You got Ray Lewis who killed a dude out there. Well, The Wire and a lot of people that are untethered. If you want to see some outtakes from The Walking Dead, go to downtown Baltimore, dude. Reach, dude. A lot of people, bro. Arms in the front. Zombies in the back. Yeah. World War Z. What AKA else you got, Baltimore. man? Let's what wrap else? it up with some King Interstand. Let's wrap it up. This uh, first one is Jake uh, Pass from Christian, Mississippi. This is Jake. No, this is Jake from Past Christian, Mississippi. Oh man, I'm an idiot. Sorry, no, you're not, man. Hey, don't, don't, don't do yourself like that, yeah. man. You got don't, it the best, hey, man, dude. very wise. Chin and Nick, now who knows, bro? <laughs> together, we don't know. <laughs> the jury's we don't out, know. dude. Yeah, the jury's out. And if you mix their names together, you know what their nickname is. <laughs> I don't. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What's up, Brandon? What's going on, TL? Jake from Past Christian, Mississippi. I got a King Ant Stinger for you guys. Real quick though, rip my lawn. Rip my lawn, Lonnie. Shout out to Lonnie. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, don't. The weed eater is broken. Uh, King Ant <laughs> Stinger, throwing tomahawks like a Jason Momoa style badass. What do you think? Oh, he's kind of gangster with it, dude. If you're looking for a lady, just bust that thing out at a park and start slanging them. The girls, freaking. Tits in the front, cheeks out the back. You start throwing them hammers, dude. They dig it. Thor's in right now. It's a big, it's a ballsy move, dude. Do it out of park. Get arrested. Snort some kratom. <laughs> Get a girl. Yeah. Go ahead, Theo. Stitches in the sternum, bro. It looks dangerous, dude, throwing axes. But you know what I'm saying? The Patriot, one of my favorite films, probably one of the top 40 or 25 films ever. Aim small, miss small, man. Dude, Apocalypto? You ever seen them bad boy hitters? The original hitters throw with them the things? With the blue people? That was Avatar. Same movie, <laughs> but with Native Dude, Americans. I don't fuck with these blues, Mines, I think. Well, these were reds. They were? Yeah, redskins. That's not a racist term. That's a Washington Redskins term. <laughs> it is? Mm-hmm. I don't care, man. Either way, you ever thrown a fucking blade like that? Yeah. It's hard to do. It's not that hard to do, bro. Well, you can throw it. I'm saying it's hard to make it stick like Homeboy did here with this. Shout out to his lawn. I'm not mad at that lawn at all. Oh, bro. I fucking, I'll take the lisp off of a troubled boy, bro. I could throw that axe easily, I think. Yeah, circumcise a few kids. Oh, dude. I could circumcise a squirrel from 60 paces. Goddamn. I didn't know you had that skill. Yeah. It's tough. I, I've tried throwing it. It's tough. It's actually very What's tough about it? Throwing a light axe at a board? To get to stick, though, bro. Not that tough, dude, if you know what you're doing. Oh, wow. Shout out to Apocalypto. What's this guy's name again? Donnie? Jake. Jake. Close. And what was his question? Throwing axes? Throwing axes. Just in Can't general? It. Yeah. This is the thing. Well, tomahawks. Yeah. People always doing it in their backyard. The only tomahawk I like is my steak. Yeah. I'm not trying to go back in time and throw axes. I say front yard it, man. I say it's time to take things from the backyard into the front yard. <laughs> That's great, you know? dude. That's the best idea you've ever had all day. Actions Don't in the me. front, you know? Because here's the thing. You want the neighbors to know. You want that guy that's thinking about stealing your car battery to know the skill set you have. You want the guy who borrowed your mower three months ago to know suddenly it's return time to that wash shit. that bitch and bring yeah. it back. Gas it up, <laughs> yeah, return yeah. it, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. It's time to hit the pawn shop and get that bitch back and the bring it back to you. is due. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, that's I say. a great idea, bro. Yeah, I say you put these, uh, you put the, yeah, you put this thing in the front and show, yep. show yep. the neighborhood who's boss. Set up front, man. Become the Batman in the neighborhood. That shit's yeah. dope. Start with this. Ninja stars. Do something else. Next thing you know, it's 
fucking flaming bow and arrows. Sharp spoons. Firecrackers. Yes. Dude, spoons, bro. We used to eat off of the sharpest spoons when I was young, not these wussy ass spoons with the comfortable edges on them. Are you talking about a shank? No. We had the sharpest spoons around, bro. You had to just barely get that soup off of there. Ooh. Dude, you know what I don't like is a, someone gave me a spork the other day. They did? Yeah, get the fuck out of my face. Also, paper straws. Oh. Also, get on my face. Yeah. If the turtle's going to run into a fucking straw, he deserves it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Well, they said they're thinking about outlawing forks in Los Angeles because in Hollywood because they said it's too just offensive to the food on the plate. You I'm know? with this dude, though. I'm with Theo. Best idea all day. Bring that shit to the front. Flex on the neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Do lassoing, bro. Become the man you always wanted to be, bro. Start riding a horse in the front yard with yeah, your shirt bro. off. Bro, get a pony, dude. You know what I'm saying? Throw an axe, bro. Dude, get a crocodile. Yeah. It's 4th of July, man. Do whatever you want to do, son. It's America, baby. Yep. What else you got? We got another one here from Aaron Shepard from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Aaron Shepard. Okay. Hi, Brendan and Theo. Welcome to my King at Sting It. Ooh. Question for you guys. Attention. This ASMR trend. People tapping on shit. Whispering in your ear. Crumbling things. Slurping noodles. Fucking crunching on ice chunks. What do you guys think? Does it make you feel so relaxed? Or like you have a lot of anxiety and you want to vomit? What are you getting an idea? Let me know, guys. I have a huge erection, but I'm also upset. <laughs> What's going oh. on? Oh my god, these are fucking stale. Those are day-old chips? Oh, it's a real pet peeve of mine, bro. What is I it? have a condition. I forget what it's called. Dak Shepard called it out. He has the same condition. I forget what it's called. Legit <laughs> condition. Really? I can't listen to people chew food. Like crunchy mm-hmm. food. Yeah. I'm telling you, if my, oh, dude, relax, I'm telling, man. If my, girl, my girl loves Flaming Hot Cheetos. If she starts eating them, I have to go upstairs. I can't hear any of it. Wow. A, if a fan is on, if people are slurping drinks, God. it's a condition. I'm talking, you want to see me go zero to 100? Eat some chips around me, bro. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's not my, I've been like, that way since I was a kid. What about ruffles, you think? Can't do with ruffles, Fritos, Doritos, nachos. Doritos are loud. Can we... Dude, you know how making these loud ass chips? That's what I'm saying. Dude, sog them up a little bit. But also, I went to a movie, one of those movie theaters where you can like order dinner and shit. Mm-hmm. Just, just eat dinner at home and watch the fucking movie. But you can order meals. Oh yeah. Some fucking prick next to me, some lesbo. Oh yeah. This butch girl ordered the vegetable tray. Oh. Snapping on carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. I had to mm. leave the movie. I missed the movie. I had to get up and leave. Mm. My girl stayed and watched while I went outside. That's how bad my condition is, dude. It's a real medical condition. No, it is not. I promise. <laughs> I promise, dude. Oh, just because you and Dax Shepard decided it was on a podcast? Because y'all are sound pussies? Here's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> the world is filled with sounds, bro. Okay? Certain sounds trigger me, bro. Yeah, well... Then go talk to a specialist, dude. I go did. talk to a free to lay delivery guy or somebody who, who deals with this shit on the regular. You know, don't be crying outside of the damn, uh, you know, Movie Cinema theater. 17. Yeah, because you can't handle it. You, you don't know? have any tics <clears throat> or conditions, Theo? I mean. I'll tell you this, dude. I have this uncanny ability that I hate. It's like, it's almost like my superpower. If I go into a restroom, I can tell, like, almost to the second when the last time somebody took a dump in there was. <laughs> that's a cool superpower. It's just by smell, and I hate it, bro. Oh, man, that's a cool superpower, though. It's kind not, of. bro. It's miserable. Oh. It's miserable. Right when I walk in, I'm like, oh, 42 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and it just cool power, kills dude. me, man. It's not a cool power. It's the worst. So, But I deal with it, you know. I prepare myself a little bit before I go in the restroom. You know, I throw a couple crazy times in my head. I'll just say like two minutes and nine seconds, you seven minutes, out. 14 minutes. Out. Yeah, 10 seconds, you know. So that way when I go in, my mind is like, you know, kind of, yeah, it's just kind of focused on another stuff. Um but yeah, dude, if you can't handle somebody chewing chips, I can't, dude. dude it, I'm telling you, it's a real medical con- condition. Then dude, you're gonna die people, when the world comes. Yeah. Well, I mean, if aliens start chewing on chips, I'm <laughs> fucked. Yeah, or if your neighbor does, bro. <laughs> somebody cracks open a can of fucking baby carrots, and you're done, daddy. Game over, daddy. <laughs> you, game over. They're man. so I, loud, though. It's ridiculous, dude. I was off Abbott Kenny the other day grabbing a coffee. I had to pee so bad. There's someone in the bathroom, right? And there's like a long line. I'm next up. 
someone's in there for a hot i mean i'm i'm eight minutes long time dude this dime piece dumper comes out she knows she blew it up I, she comes out just like this and walked right by she me. winked at you dude and she blew that bathroom up maybe she had something in her eye did she look like she could have had something in her eye nope it was just like you ain't gonna do shit wink damn it was super sexy <laughs> wow man that's feminism dude the dumper dime piece shout out to her if she's out there she's not out there man if she's out there and you want to get to theo she you gotta ain't. get through the beat that's not how you say it and she's not out there man it might have been a dude Okay, well, <laughs> well, story changes quick, dude. Anaconda in the front. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> well, King and her singing this the the noises. Oh, uh, sting. Oh, is she saying it's a bad thing? Yeah. Well, she yeah. she knows she she might have the same condition because she went through all the the triggers for people who have this, like chumping on those chips, everything. So she might have it. So I don't know the King or Sting is. She's saying she has it too. Yeah, she's saying ASMR. Do you like it? There's yeah. these videos out there on the internet where people are touching things, and you know, and they're just and they're ignorant or whatever. And oh, sting it! It's like a thing. ASMR. I've never stinged so much something in my life. That shit bothers me. I like it, but I don't like the you ones like of the famous people doing it because then I feel like they start to become it. It's like it gets a little egoy sometimes, you know. Like, yeah, they like know there was this views. one kind of hottie doing it, and then she started to seem like a real bitch by the time she had like her two thousandth sound or something, you oh, know. Sweet. And I'm like, look, anybody can make a damn sound, you know. It's not like you're Mozart. It's not a skill. Yeah. But also another little fact about me that most people don't know: I don't like my hands wet either. That also <laughs> oh makes me flip. God, bro. I'm a weird kid, dude. Just dude. like you can't do drugs, I can't do carrots or. Get my hands wet. <laughs> Big Nos. They call him Big Nos. Um, what else have we got? That's it, boys. Dang, Damn. that's it. We man. learned a lot about each other. Did we? Feel like it. That's true. Feel like it, dude. Yeah, what's the breakdown from it? I learned about uh, you that... Sounds, hands wet. Sounds, hands wet. You don't like kind of a housewife kind of lady? No, I do. I just think that's that she's just coming on too strong for the fellas in Oklahoma. Yeah. We um, also learned, you know, little Nas. Little Nas is... Out on a whole new. Voice. Who's he gonna start dating? What get? What do you think? Tyler the Creator, Jaden Smith. I bet. Tyler That's the Creator right. is gay or no? Yeah, he's gay. Oh, he is. Wow. Oh, he's bi. I think he's bi. But he's definitely. Nah, he's gay. Yeah. yeah, he's gay. <laughs> he's gay. He gay. Yeah, Every but, dudes ever like, man, that one time we got all drunk in college and sucked dick. Oh no, you gay, dude. Girls well, can do that. Well, then here's the thing, though. Being bi, it's like I think you almost have to go all the way gay. If you're just being bi, dude, anybody could do that. Pick a lane. Yeah. Or just at least a, being bi is kind of like taking the easy way out, I feel like, a little. Yeah, because you can just play both sides. Yeah. Well, Jaden Smith, that little twink, though, he's like full-blown. I don't know. I, I haven't heard that, but maybe. Full-blown is an HIV term. So. <laughs> yeah, in the 90s. That shit's <laughs> cured, bro. But the term ain't, dude. Full-blown's all good. No, nah, I mean, it's good, but it's, you know, I'm not, I'm okay with being unblown, you know? <laughs> well, I like to be full-blown. <laughs> yeah, well, look. Then that look, dude. Well, shout out to Full Blown. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Where are you gonna be, bro? You on tour? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be on tour, man. I got some shows, a new show that uh, for Manchester or, or London. You're going to uh, Europe soon. Yep, in September, and it's a new afternoon show. Um, and you can just go to theovon.com/tour and uh, and get tickets to it. Go see one of the best. Uh, I'm talking about Theo, not myself. Um, well, go see one of the uh, up and coming and hardworking. Future best. Um, Where are your dates, Brendan? I am in Indy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in Cincinnati next week. Next Friday, Saturday, I'm at Cincinnati. Week after, I'm in Indy. And then tickets for Nashville and Portland just went on sale. TFATK.com. Get you some. Dude. Horses in the front. Horses in the front. Horses in the back. <laughs> you know, we could have stopped at Horses in the Front. Why? Not in the back, too. All right. Little Nas style. Horses, horses everywhere. <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh. It's the king and us game.